to WAW Showcase. My name is Mike McBride and this is the Waco Association of Wrestling. And welcome back. It's been a while since we've been around, but we're back with some more wrestling action. And this is the all new, all different showcase. Well, it's not that different, but it is new. And we're going to try some new things. So, um, hey, let's not waste any time because we're ready to get this new era of the WAW on the way. And speaking of new eras, well, we have a new venue that we've recently invaded. Fast Eddie's right here in Waco, Texas. Let's not waste any more time. Let's go down to the ring for our first match. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are here at Fast Eddie's right in Waco, Texas. About to watch this match. It's going to be an international affair. We have Akanoshi versus American Eagle. Akanoshi is from Musawa, Japan, I believe. And of course, American Eagle is from, you guessed it, Main Street, USA. As we see both men getting ready for this match. All right, here we go. Akanoshi with the wrist lock, which means wrist lock in any language. I don't believe Akanoshi knows English, uh, but I don't think that's going to send him back at all in this match. The crowd, an American crowd behind American Eagle. The takedown to Akanoshi. And now a little bit of showboating from the man from Main Street, USA. A very lively crowd here tonight. Uh, Fast Eddie's, a great establishment. They welcomed us with uh, very uh, open arms. Uh, in fact, they had their wait staff walking around in WAW t-shirts. Uh, someone has yet to pay for those t-shirts, but that's a whole other story. A little knockdown by Akinoshi. Whoa! Some head scissors and he's flying around in the ring. And here we go. You gotta love American Eagle with an arm drag takedown to Akinoshi. Another one followed up. Let's see. A little forearm. All good stuff so far. See, Akinoshi blocks the hip toss. Versus it into one of his own, but American Eagle has reversed it into a backslide. Let's see. No, it's only a two count right there. The match is still going on. And oh, a drop kick right to the face. And uh, American Eagle is there. We're going to take another look real quick at the showboating from American Eagle. There you go. A very fast paced match. That's exactly what we were expecting here today. The crowd trying to get behind Eagle, trying to get him up. He looks like he's in a very painful predicament right now. It's always fun to see these masked wrestlers go against each other. Uh, typically, they stay away from each other's masks to, to respect things. There's a leg drop to the neck of American Eagle. Don't let the size of Akinoshi fool you. He's very, very vicious. American Eagle working his way up. His fans are indeed very vocal. Nice sunset flip, but I think it's going to take more than that to get American Eagle down. And what's he going for here? This is, oh, we've seen this before. There you go. It looks fancy, but it's a very painful submission maneuver. The only problem with that move is, well, if you're the one giving it, you can't really hold on for too long. I think at this point, American Eagle cares more about the crowd. He just, oh, what a nice pinning maneuver. And Akinoshi is able to kick out. 
as I was saying before, I think American Eagle cares more about getting the fans behind him than actually uh, performing his moves. And that has come back to bite him, as you can see. Nakanoshi taking down American Eagle. American Eagle, of course, the bigger of the two. Remember what I said, Akanoshi is vicious. Punch to the gut. Nice little elbow taking him down. Little jumping knee action. American Eagle getting himself pumped up. What's he got in mind here? It's going to be good, I know that. Oh, kick it. I thought for sure that was going to be three. You see this crowd getting very into this match. What a great crowd we have here at Fast Eddie. Oh, he seemed to got a thumb through the holes in his mask and right to the eyes. Unable to pick up the larger man. Oh, nice. Oh, kick to the head. Akinoshi may be out on his feet. And now American Eagle's going to go to the sky and... Oh! Brings him down to the mat. It's got to be all over. One, two, three. It's over, folks. And there you have it, American Eagle, the winner. Just a devastating maneuver. All right, before we go any further, I want to take this time to tell you about our next live event. It's once again going to be in Fast Eddie's right here in Waco, Texas. It's going to feature the main event of High and Tight versus the Princes of the Universe. High and Tight, of course, is Sammy Haggard and Bryson Scott. Princes of the Universe consist of Victor Van Zandt and the WAW champion, Mike Fire. There's certainly going to be no love loss between those two tag teams. I can't wait. I'm going to be there. And all the great WAW wrestlers are going to be there as well. All right, everybody, here I am in front of Fast Eddie's. Now, if you want to see live, unedited WAW action, you're going to have to come out to one of our live events. But I'll hook you up right now. Here are some highlights from our last live event. So this year, 2013, is going to be the year of the Psycho, the year of Fusion, where I pin whoever what's his name's got the belt, and it's in my hands for the keeping. So just to let all of you punks in the back, or whoever's watching this know, this is my time to shine. Fusion is back, and you better believe it.
Boy Aquí en Hueco, el Fast Eddies Yo Bison de Rubio Me quedé con mi campeonato Today in Fast Eddies Here in Hueco, Texas Bison Rubio Defending his belt I am hardcore And he knew it tonight. The only way he was going to retain that title is by cheating. Fire, you just opened Pandora's box, buddy. You want the shot? Well, folks, you've been waiting about a year for this. Without any further ado, here is Blue D. Alright folks, I'm going to go inside. We're about to have the main event. It's going to be Killer McKenzie versus Victor Van Zandt in a Fast Eddie's street fight. I can't wait. Let's go inside. Check it out. Okay, we're back here at Fast Eddie's. About to watch a Fast Eddie's street fight. Interesting, I don't know if I've ever seen a Fast Eddie's street fight, so it should be interesting. Victor Van Zandt very hesitant to get in the ring. Killer McKenzie 
overpowering his opponent, as he most often does. One more time throwing Victor to the mat. Victor getting the upper hand this time with a headlock. I think this is a good time to go over the rules of a street fight, a Fast Eddie street fight. Uh, pinfall or submission must happen in the ring, but they can go anywhere they want in the building. There will be no count out. Victor currently hearing it from the fans at this point. I want to take this moment to also thank all the camera people we had working with us. A loud chop to the chest of Victor. <laughs> it does not feel good. And. Oh. Killer just stuck Victor's head in the trash. Like we said, this is a street fight. Anything goes. They are out there in the middle of everything with all those people. Victor's back being rammed right into that ring post. Another chop from Killer. This thing may be over before it really gets started. Victor looks like he's in a very bad way. Victor unable to gain any advantage over Killer at this point. They're going out to a pool table. A very hard pool table. Killer is just all over Victor. What's he going for here? Uh-oh, he's high up in the air. And oh! Oh! We're going to have to take another look at that. He got slammed right down to the ground right on his lower back you know I don't know if you saw that what killer got now he's got a couple of pool sticks well we are in a pool hall now oh, he's playing drums on Victor's head and god did you hear the snap that was the sound of Victor's head being cracked open Killer taking Victor back up in the air one more time. Aiming for a ring post. Oh! Victor able to counter. Now Victor Van Zandt has a pull cue of his own. Ooh, right across the back. Out to the midsection. And now finally to the face. Once again, this is a street fight. Anything goes. Oh my God! That was a beer bottle! Did you hear that noise? The glass shattering over Killer's head. We definitely gotta take another look at that. Oh my goodness. Here we go, let's take another look. And you can see a piece of the bottle fall to the ground. And sure enough, oh my. It, it almost, there's pieces of glass in Killer's skull right now. The crowd trying to get behind Killer McKenzie, but well, he's taking a piece of glass. And, oh, I can't even watch this. That's 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 gruesome. This match is just taking a very serious tone. I'm not ever trying to imply that a street fight is never serious. My goodness. It just got turned up a notch. 
Well, Victor's totally in control right now. The tables have turned him. Oh! Taylor's kind of out of it right now. That foot to the jaw. The sound is sickening. Victor asking what he's got to do to Taylor. I think the crowd's asking the same question. Take another look at that kick. They're putting Killer back in the ring. So here we go. One, two, and no, and a kick out. It's going to take a lot more than that to put down Killer McKenzie. Another kick to the head. Even though they're in the ring, street fight rules still apply. Yeah, I think uh, Victor's wanting to get a little vertical here. Killer back to his feet. Doesn't look like he knows where he is, but well. And he's able to stop Victor from jumping down. And looks like Killer McKenzie's got an idea of his own. going to see here possibly a superplex. Oh, Victor's powering up. No! Killer's got some punches of his own. And that's exactly what we're going to see here is a superplex. And oh! I don't know if you heard it through your speakers but that sounded like a gunshot going off here at Fast Eddie. I think all we need to do now is get a pinfall on this. This has got to be over, folks. This is all over. One, two, and we're... And no, it's only a two count. And you can just feel the energy in this, this room shoot up as soon as we had that superplex. My goodness, I've seen a lot of superplexes. I don't know if I've heard one with such a bang like that one has. Killer was definitely the crowd behind him. As you can see, it's starting to get pretty rowdy in here. There is an electricity in the air. And oh my! And that's it. It's over, folks. Killer McKenzie is your winner. And what a way to win. What a slam to the ground. Bloody skull and all. He put Victor through that mat. Let me take another look at this real quick and look at the elevation and damn. It looked like he almost went through the mat. My goodness, that's impressive. Well, there's your winner, Killer McKenzie. Well, folks, we had a great time at Fast Eddie's, and um, there's one person in particular that had a great time, and that's Surge, uh, Waco's own Surge, and well, he got one of our camera people, and well, this is what he did. Woo woo! What's up? We're here at Fast Eddie's, the home, the new home of WAW. This is... <laughs> It's beautiful. We had a great show tonight, you know. Not only did I come as a wrestler, I'm coming as an interviewer. I'm going to give you some interviews with some WAW wrestlers. That alone is great. I love my life. Come on. What's up, everybody? This is Serge. You know what? <laughs> I'm going to do an interview with, with Killer Brent McKenzie. You know what I'm saying? Formerly known as Bubba Dumplings, he changed... Tell me about this. What what is the why is why the changing of the name? <clears throat> well, Serge, uh, it was uh, time to uh, start taking things a little more seriously. Okay. Okay. That's why uh, you can only go so far as a dancing hillbilly. 
<laughs> but you did very well at the Denson Hillbilly. You had a lot of crowd that backed you up as, as Bubba Dumplings. When you come to WAW, they know you as Bubba. I even had someone coming tonight who were like, why is he dressed differently? Isn't that Bubba? Who is that guy? Okay, so granted, tell me about that. Granted, that may be the case, but tonight I think I proved my point. And they're not going to forget who the, who the hell Killer Brent McKenzie is, are they? Okay, no, they won't. You know what? Because you, you stepped up and you showed Victor Van Zandt who you are and why, why you need, why you are part of WAW, why you, you come back, why you are the face, one of the faces of WAW, right? You showed them what's up. So anyway, so tell me about your match. Y'all went. What was it, a street? Uh, it wasn't a street well, fight. It was Eddie's, a bar fight. Fast Eddie's Waco street fight, which turned into more of a bar fight. <laughs> Tell me about that. I mean, for uh, real. I'll give it to Victor Van Zandt. He's a hell of a competitor. He broke a damn <laughs> beer bottle over the top of my head. We saw that. You know, was that uh, bottle, like, I mean, was it a, a full, uh, I mean, tell me about this uh, bottle. A real beer bottle. I mean, what do you want? I mean, that's I what they know. serve here. It's just, it's crazy. The knot on the back of my head says it was a real beer, real beer <laughs> bottle. Yeah, I can't even talk now. He no, you so can't. Hard. It's all right. Um, I'll give him his due. He's a hell of a competitor. He took me to the limit tonight, but I proved tonight why exactly they call me the killer. <laughs> you know what? And, and you wonder why we keep booking this guy right here. You know what I'm saying? This guy, I mean, look at him. He's 378 pounds. He took a beer bottle to the head and he still wins. And he, I can't even, I can't even imagine this. You know what? You, you, you showed, you showed up tonight and you proved the crowd who you were. You know what? The crowd was popping for you, man. They loved you. I'm out, here, I'm out here to WW to prove one thing. What is that? That I'm the guy. I'm the measuring stick. <laughs> I'm the guy that you got to go through if you want to succeed in this company. And I'm damn well going to make a name for myself here. Yeah. It, might I ask, he, he's looking damn he, he looking damn good tonight, wasn't he? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> whoop, whoop. Okay guys, we've had a lot of fun on today's show and I want to thank everybody involved. I had to sit here and thank everybody individually, one by one. This would be a 40 minute video, but you guys should know who you are. We want to thank everybody that's certainly involved. Oh, and don't forget, April 16th, that's going to be our next live show on Fast Eddie's in Waco. Don't forget, it's going to feature the tag team match of High and Tight versus the Prince of the Universe. Great tag team action. I dare you to find better tag team action anywhere else around. Well, if you disagree with me, come out to the show and you be the judge. I can't wait to see you there. I'm going to be there. I'm really excited. Hope to see you there.